Hello, welcome to the Wi-Fi access in the local industrial area, presented by myself, John. And uh, we're going to be looking today at uh, what we can find when we search for wireless access points in a local industrial estate, or maybe it's on a local industrial estate, because certainly inside the estate there are access points and they transmit to the estate itself. There are many access points here, as you will see. And a channel number. And we can very quickly see that uh, it, it's, it has some interesting um, attributes. Now, the reason why I say that is because this is a Wi-Fi connection. Um, and... Uh, it, we're, we're actually able to, because it's default, we're actually able to join it, get internet access to it, and uh, although you'll see that the other ones have connections, this particular one has uh, a um, can be re reconnected to. Then you'll see the signal strength, which is 62%. And you're now seeing just literally the information that's coming directly off this particular setup. Now, I am currently using a software package as you can see, and uh, I'm not going to go too much inf into this because you can see the amount of information that's coming directly off here a considerable amount. You can see the TCPI, uh, you can see our source and destination, and time a lot further information can be gained from a situation like this and it would be inappropriate for me to take any further information other than what you can see already um, you can actually see the netgear route the actual word server information you can see a whole bunch of information here taking into consideration that we have literally just driven down a street to gain access to this information um, if you're uh, involved with Wi-Fi and you're not really sure what you're doing or you're not clear as to the information that is available that's coming out of your system this is a clear reason for checking out um, what, you, what you're actually doing I mean, we can go into here and as you can see here we can actually go into the internet we have that connection here and uh, we have had internet access um, and this information is literally just coming directly through a system it's a low si low connection as you can see here it's a low connection but it's still actually a direct Wi-Fi connection I'm not going to go and tell you any further information on this if you really want to know more about what this information is being provided by the second um, then by all means email me um, but yeah we, d we do have direct information that's coming off a system and that's something that a user might be concerned about so there you go it just shows it how easy it is to gain access to information um location. Uh not strong, it's a weak signal though. Okay, just a few feet along the road I uh, come across this information with a number of defaults and another number of SSIDs. The terrifying thing is only th one, two, three, four are encrypted. So by going to this one here, we can actually, for example, um, join the 64 connection and um, potentially we can connect onto it uh, and test the whole thing out. Um, which is interesting in itself if you look you've also got a BT open zone which you could join and 
uh, rescan or, or, or whatever. Um, considerable number of sites there that actual, in actual fact, are really uh, sending out some interesting signals. So uh, that's that's quite a lot of um, stuff moving forward, as the saying goes. If you're searching. One of the catch 22s with the use of the ESSID here with the title is if it's your business name and you haven't changed your security on the, your system, then it actually tells the person exactly where they're going in, where this sort of information may be relevant. So it means that if they want to sniff the data in your system you're being left wide open so again if you're not sure whereabouts you are with that worthwhile making some inquiries I'm hoping this video has been of interest to you today uh, without seeming to be too uh, digging um, but thanks for taking the time to watch much appreciated and uh, there's loads more information should you require it